What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the LEGO Lightyear set 76831 Zerg Battle. It comes with two minifigures, a brick-built droid, we've got Socks the Cat, some alternative heads, and a brick-built Zerg. So let's get right into it and decide if this is worth the money. Okay, our first minifigure is Izzy Hawthorne. She's got great arm printing on both arms, a great torso print. Gotta love this shoulder piece here. It's just so cool to get more Space Rangers. She's got this hair piece, which has come in some other sets, but the head is really awesome. All of these figures offer great heads for building and making customs. Let's go ahead and lift the head off so that you can see what underneath the little uh, jetpack thing looks like. I don't know what that shoulder piece is technically supposed to be called. But we also have this purple Space Ranger style head that you can put on there as well. She also has a stud firing gun, so when you push this down, it shoots a stud out a little something like that. That brings us to Buzz Lightyear, our next minifigure, and he's got an interesting jetpack piece here that actually clips onto the back just like that. I don't necessarily love the prototype look of it, but without the full context of the movie, it's honestly kind of hard to say what this uh, is meaning or representing, but the piece itself is quite cool. Just like with Izzy, we've got a regular head here. We've got a big smirk on this side. You know what? I'm just going to take him off the stand. He didn't want to be on there anyways. And we've got this kind of closed mouth smirk. And then, of course, we can lift this head and put the Space Ranger head on. And it looks like that. So that's quite cool. I do like this laser beam effect. He just kind of holds it on a one-by-one -one stud there with a hand grip clip. He's got a white gun here, and then we also have this canister, which once again, without the full context from the movie, it's kind of hard to say what this is, but I, we can see he's got it on the box art there, so here it is here. Here we have the robot Eric, or E-R-I-C, as it says on the box. It's a very unique build. You can see that the bottom actually has studs facing down, so it's almost like wheels or, you know, it elevates it off the ground just a little bit, so you can't actually connect him to Lego studs. He's got a little arm here that moves from side to side, two stickers, and a really unique build for the eye where you put a unicorn piece inside of this hole and then you've got the eye inside of there. This set is just jam-packed full of unique building techniques. Our final minifigure, if we can call it that, is Socks the Cat. It uses the regular cat mold but has new printing and a new color. The only thing left to talk about is the build of the set, which is Zerg. Now, I have my reservations about this because I feel like Zerg needs to look like this, you know, with the cape and uh, the, like, draped legs like he has in Toy Story 2. I just, I'm not a fan of Zerg having legs. I'm sorry. I just grew up with these movies. I've played with Buzz Lightyear and Zerg toys pretty much my whole childhood, so to see Zerg with legs is just really, uh, it feels wrong to me, but anyways, the head is a new piece. It's really cool. Uh, it just kind of sits in there and turns either way. The arms both have shoulder joints that move like this. You've got a little, uh, mid-elbow joint and a wrist joint, the fingers and thumb can all be moved. He can't really hold anything, though. And on the box, it shows this on this side, but the instructions tell you to put it on that side. I assume that's some sort of target or laser for, you know, the Space Rangers to hit. We do have some uh, mobility here in the legs as well, but it's kind of strange that the angle here just moves forward and back. You could move the legs, but I don't know. The legs just don't feel super poseable to me, and if you're not careful, pieces are just going to fly off like that. It's a good build. It's probably the better of the two light year sets that are aimed at an older audience. Of course, there's also a four plus set that I don't have just yet, but uh, you know, it's definitely cool to get all of these minifigs, and the minifigs in this, I think, are better than the minifigs that come in the XL-15 spaceship, so it really just depends what you want. I think if you really love this movie, you might as well just go ahead and get all the sets anyway, but since the movie's not out, it's honestly kind of hard to talk about. So with that being said, let's zoom out, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, well, thanks for hanging out today. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.